Hey everybody, I've done a cold start on my 1962 Impala and this is the second video I've made. The other one was just way too long. So I thought I'd do this second one. I'm sorry you didn't get to see me start it up, but it's no big deal. I put a new battery on it that I bought that's about 130 or 140 bucks. So you kind of got to save up for some of this stuff, but got a new battery on it and it cranked up pretty easy. So, but uh, what I was going to tell you today, well, let me show you a walk around. It's my 1962 Impala, in case you're new to my channel. And uh, I've got torque thrust wheels on it. And this car has been in my family ever since new. My uncle owned it, bought it brand new in 62 in Albertville, Alabama. And I know the car looks like it's leaning. It's actually the driveway. But my grandparents bought it from him, and I, I got it from my grandparents. It's a long story, so but I'm making it short. It's got a 283 in it, even though I put on 327 albums. A 283 has the V in the red, white, and blue. 327 has all this plus the cross flags. And if it's a 409 car, it'll say 409 down here at the bottom. I've always been into 62s. That's my, probably one of my favorite cars of all time. And uh, I was going to tell you a few little things uh, you might want to look for if you're thinking about buying a 62 Impala or Bel Air or Biscayne. They're all the same. It's just less, uh, less options on a Bel Air and even less on a Biscayne. You're just buying bare bones. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I like Biscaynes and Bel Airs just fine. I've had some. I've probably had 12, probably at least 12, 62 Impalas, Bel Airs, and Biscayne cars, and one of them being a wagon. But I'll tell you a couple things I've done to this car that if you buy a 62, just, just so you know, a 61 Chevrolet car and a 62 Chevrolet car, they share a lot of the same components. The dash is the same. I actually have put on a 61 Impala uh, glove box door because it has this piece of aluminum. In 62, they did not. This is the original one from this 62 Impala. And I put this on just to brighten it up a little bit because, hey, it's my car. So, But I, I've saved everything I've took off of it. And I can put it back anytime I want. I have the original steering wheel for this car. This is a 59 Impala steering wheel. And this is one of my favorite steering wheels of all time. I just I don't I just like the way they look. I like the cross flags and the Impala right there. And I've had my in my whole life I've had one 58 Impala steering wheel. The difference is they look just like this. But a 58 they had a little notch in the steering wheel and the horn ring come all the way up and around and back down to here but in 58 when you went to honk the horn you know everybody would grab this part well it would snap so 59 they done away with that and put it down here you can either use this or this they didn't break or they have it yet I'll show you a couple more things if you're thinking about buying a 62 Chevrolet Impala the reason I'm kind of doing this video is to show you a couple of things you might want to look for. A lot of people want to change their Impala into a Super Sport. Actually, I thought about doing it to this one. I've got all the pieces to make this car a Super Sport, but I didn't. I changed my mind because of the sentimental value on this car that I have. I've known this car ever since I was five years old, four or five, and I, I just fell in love with it. The first time I laid eyes on this car, I fell in love with this car. And at the time, my uncle had it. So, but anyway, getting back to the story. Uh, it'll say Impala and, and Super Sport. SS right here. And it'll have a little bitty Impala right there, best I can remember. I've had three or four Super Sports. But anyway, I, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, as y'all do too. Obviously, you're watching this one. But a lot of people, they'll put the... Impala, and I seen this last week, and I was going, hey, there's something wrong. But they put the Impala way down here, and the Super Sport emblem right here, and I mean, it was way off. And it, they was trying to pass it off as a Impala Super Sport, which it is not. It, it was a fake, and, you know, there's no need in paying a Super Sport price for a regular Impala when you can, especially when they haven't done it right. 
couple of other things that people neglect. This is the this is the original panel and Super Sport. I mean, I'm sorry, Impala emblem along with their uh, panel for this car. Just an Impala. Okay, this is the grab bar for SS Impala. And it'll mount right here like this. I'm, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but this part here mounts into this. And it, it'll set kind of like that. And it's pretty cool looking. I've had, as I said, I've had several Super Sport Impalas. This panel will go right here. And it's only got one hole. And this hole in this panel is... is for that screw to go right in here like that. And then that amount to your, to this up here. On your uh, pillar, what I'm trying to say. A lot of people do this right here. They take the Impala emblem out, this right here. I'm trying to, trying to hurry and show you. They take this off. And they'll put the grab bar here, but you still got all them stupid holes. And everybody, or at least I would, if I walked up on one, I'd say somebody's cloned it because they didn't put this panel on. And I've, I've seen that a lot. And I hate for somebody that's maybe getting into the old cars or old trucks and they've got took maybe paying a super sport price for a, really just a plain Jane Camaro. I mean, a Impala. Got Camaros on my mind. I like those too. Here's another clue. If I, oh, hang on just a minute. Okay, here's another thing. Is people will, they'll put super sport emblems, but they don't buy these panels uh, that go around the trunk and the taillight area. These are taillight coves, and they have the swirls in them. And that designates that it's a super sport. They'll do, as I said, I seen a video on YouTube the other day and they was trying to pass it off as a SS, but it wasn't, cause it had this. I mean, that's just plain Jane Impala. Super sport, they kind of went, had the little uh, swirls in is what I call them. And the whole, and they're, they're, these things are pretty expensive. You're probably talking about a thousand dollars to do the whole trunk area like this and I did also on the Impala they'll have a paint color right in here like this one is blue on the SS it'll be swirls just like this all the way down just swirls so just a couple little things to tell you about a, a soup the difference between a super sport and a Impala and I'm sure there's more than that but I'm trying to make this video really quick so, and another thing that I've done on this car real quick, then I'll let you go. But uh, this is this is for 61 as well. This a hood pull. I put I I got this grill guard. I try to stand back and let you see it. I was tickled to get it. A 62 just had a plain Jane extension come out, kind of like similar to this. It come out, and you could open the hood without having it get your hand back in here and do it. 61 had this and it's so much fancier with the bow tie and all. And that's what I put in on this car because as I said, it's my car. So I just a couple of things and I can make anything back original if I want to. I've got all the pieces for it. And this is a 62, the correct 62 door mirror. It's got a little lip on it right here, right in this area. And it's got a bow tie embossed into the mirror itself. This is the correct mirror for a 62. Just a couple little things, and let me say this. If you need any 62 parts that maybe you're looking for, uh, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. There's a good chance I might have something that you might be looking for. I don't have everything, but I do have a lot of parts for a 62. And some of it's for a 62 SS. So just, as I said, subscribe, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, like like the video, whatever. 
And uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Try not to be long-winded. I hope y'all have a good day, and I'll see you later.